I really have to do this? Isn't there an easier way? And the answer is yes. For certain types of problems, there is a way that is much easier and much shorter than long division. It's called synthetic division. And it will work any time your divisor is x plus or minus just a number. It will not work if you have a coefficient in front of the x. It will not work if you have x squares in your divisor or anything bigger than x squares. Only works if you have x plus or minus a number. And so we're going to do this with synthetic division, and you will see that, yes, it looks much nicer and everything else. So with synthetic division, basically we leave out all the x's, all the x squareds, all the x cubes, and all we look at is the coefficients. So we make a symbol that looks kind of like this big L. And in the inside, just like on the inside over here, we put the dividend. But we're not going to put the whole thing, we're only going to put the coefficients. So I have a coefficient of 1, a coefficient of negative 12, a coefficient of 37, and then my constant term is negative 23. Now on the outside here, I'm not going to put the coefficients of my divisor. Instead, what I put in is the number which would make my divisor equal to 0. In this case, that would be 4. So in other words, another way to think of that is if this is minus 4, then that's going to be positive 4. If this was plus 4, then that would have been a negative 4. How many of you have been to school in the US your whole lives? Okay, some of you have been to school somewhere else. Have you done, did you do synthetic division there? Did you do it this way? No? In the U.S., it is almost always taught that you do synthetic division by putting in the thing that makes this equal to zero, and then it allows you to add. In other countries, I have seen it where they actually put in that, that number, and then you have to subtract. So whichever one you're used to or whichever one you like, both of them will work. I'll have to watch what you do. Now here's the process. It always starts the same way. This first number always comes down and becomes the first coefficient in the answer. Now we take the number that we have outside to the left here, multiply it by that first coefficient, and write that answer under the next number to the right. So now I've taken 4 times 1, and I'm writing 4 under my negative 12. And now I add down. So I'll have negative 12 plus 4, and that will give me negative 8. <coughs> so now I'm going to do the same thing again, except I'm now going to write it under the 37. What will I write under 37? Negative 32. I get it from the 4 times the negative 8, so I have my negative 32. 37 plus a negative 32, because I get to add, gives me 5. And then 4 times 5 is 20. I write that down under the negative 23. I add negative 23 and 20 and get negative 3. And these numbers should look awfully familiar. It's a good thing, because otherwise I messed up. These numbers are the coefficients of my answer. Now I started out with a cubic polynomial. Whenever I do synthetic division, what would be the polynomial that would come in my response, my answer? One less. So if I started out with a fourth degree and did synthetic division, my answer would be a third degree. This time I started out with a third degree, my answer is a quadratic. And so that means I have 1x squared minus 8x plus 5 as my quotient, but I have this extra term. What is that? That's the remainder. It always is the remainder. Oh, yeah. The quotient you have to write out. But the remainder, since it's just a number, you can just point to it and say, there it is right there. All right, now to give you
you a chance to practice. Here is a long division problem that you can't avoid doing long division on. So go for it.